Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are talking about single pedal driving, which is exactly as the name implies. You only use one pedal for all of your driving unless you're in an emergency situation. And so as you will see, I'm coming up to a stop sign right here. I'm going to be driving through a neighborhood just so that I can show, you know, the functionality of the braking. Uh, but I did not touch the brake pedal whatsoever, so you're just using the accelerator pedal. And really any vehicle that has an electric motor uh, could have this functionality as long as it somehow can connected up to the wheels. So you'll see this in electric cars, uh, plug-in hybrids. It could even be done with hybrid vehicles. And so this is the 2018 Nissan Leaf. Um, it's also done in Teslas. It is also done in the Chevy Bolt. So other vehicles have this functionality. Uh, it's becoming more popular as we start to get more electric cars. And it's kind of a neat idea. And so how does this work? Well, essentially, when you're accelerating, when I put my foot on the throttle, I'm using electricity to create a force in the electric motor to accelerate the vehicle forward. When I let go of the throttle, then the opposite occurs. I'm using the kinetic energy of the car to then create a force in that electric motor, which then sends electricity to the battery pack. And so the opposite is occurring. I'm using turning kinetic energy into electricity and in doing so, slowing down the vehicle. So with this leaf, when you let off the accelerator pedal, you're only using the electric motor to slow the vehicle down. And so it only uses the hydraulic brakes once you come to a complete stop. So once you've come to a complete stop, it'll lock the vehicle in place using the hydraulic brakes, but you get there just using the electric motor. And so by doing this, if you only use the e-pedal, you can of course choose not to there's a button to switch between you know a normal driving mode and using just a single pedal if you only use the single pedal then obviously you're really not using your brakes at all so they're going to last for an extreme amount of time now the deceleration rate the maximum deceleration is about 0.2 g when you let off the throttle pedal and so 0.2 g is about 20 percent of the vehicle's total braking capability usually you can brake around 1 g maybe a little bit higher so 20 percent braking force uh, that's a very natural force you know, you're not slamming the brakes every time you come to a stop. Um, instead, you're kind of gently, you know, coming up to that stoplight. And so it's a nice deceleration rate where, you know, you don't have to use the brake pedal, uh, but it doesn't feel like you're slamming the car and it kind of transitions smoothly up to that 0.2 G. So a couple obvious questions. What about an emergency situation? Well, if you need to slam on the brakes, you absolutely can. The functionality is there. And so the brake pedal works just like it does normally uh, in an emergency situation, or if you just, you know, didn't quite judge it right and you need to slow down a little bit more, you've got the brake pedal right there. It's no different, uh, you know, as, as than any other car. And so what's interesting about that to me, though, there is a slight difference in how it feels when you have it in e-pedal mode, where initially there's a bit of the braking that you push in and it doesn't actually do much. So you would feel like, okay, I've got my 0.2G and I'll add to that by slightly pressing into the brake and really you have to get into it a little bit more. So it's a little bit weird touching that brake the first time, um, but certainly something you can get used used to. Now, what about the brake lights? Do those still warn the people behind you when you're slowing down? Yes, absolutely, they function just like normal. So as you start to let off the throttle pedal and the vehicle starts to slow down, that brake light comes on, letting the people know behind you that you are slowing down. So the brake light functionality is all still there. Another interesting thing about this system is how it behaves on a loose surface. And so let's say you're on a loose surface, you don't have much traction, you let off, and you know that wheel wants to lock up, wants to stop because the deceleration force is too great for the surface that you're driving on. Well, one of the interesting things about electric motors, and I was having this discussion with Lucas Degrassi, who's a Formula E champion, and he also designs electric bicycles, and he was talking about the inherent ABS on his electric bicycles, because as you let off the throttle and you start to let that vehicle slow down with regeneration, well then, that regeneration is only possible if the tire is moving. If the tire locks up, then you can't have any regen, and so it's, so it starts rotating again. And once it starts rotating again, that means you have this inherent ABS built in. So it won't just simply lock up and stay locked up with an electric motor doing the decelerating because it has to be moving in order for it to decelerate. The other interesting thing that Nissan does when you're on a loose surface, which is pretty clever, of course, if you're using regen, only your driven wheels are slowing you down. And so for the case of this Nissan Leaf, that means only the front wheels are slowing you down. So you've only got two wheels that are actually going to be decelerating you. Well, on a loose surface, 
you're probably going to want all four wheels to be able to decelerate you uh, even as low as 0.2 g you may need that and so what nissan does if it recognizes that it's on a loose surface and starts to see some slip with those front tires well then it knows that it can use both sets of wheels it'll actually have the mechanical brakes step in and help you out so you have all four wheels slowing you down rather than just two if you are on a slippery surface and finally i think the other benefit of this system is that if you have that one friend who just really sucks at braking and every time you come to a stop it's this really abrupt ordeal well with this e-pedal you kind of eliminate that because computers are doing all of it and they're giving you this really nice smooth deceleration rate so you let off the pedal and then it's this nice smooth transition all the way to a complete stop so i hope you all have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below